Hello everybody, welcome to Brickvolt, my name is Mike and today we have a kind of a special episode. We are answering a quite an important Oh, that was a big one. And the question being, what would all those cool Star Wars ships look like if they were actually built in many... Minifig scale, like uh, this guy. That's the A-Wing we had in the studio for a while now, and that's one of the cool custom mocks we have in the studio, probably one of the most accurate ones. So uh, we're looking at this guy for a long time now, and Jack and me was still asking this question. So in this episode, let's go through all the cool Star Wars ships we chose to be in this episode and see how big they would be in actual minifig scale. But first, let's explain what minifig scale really is. And I have to say first that the inspiration for this video was a number of YouTube videos I have seen about uh, scales of ships from Star Trek, Star Wars, different universes. And as we are LEGO channel, I was wondering why can't we just do one about LEGO? To make this all happen, we found a very useful tool by David Eaton, a LEGO scale converter that was helping us convert the real life sizes to very usable LEGO minifig form. There is gonna be a link below if you wanna check it out for yourself. And to start off on this Darth Vader minifig example, a minifig is roughly one and a half inches high. And generally it translates to six feet in real life. So if we are looking at a minifigure scale set like this race speeder for example, we are considering a set that is well scaled to the actual minifig, not the person. Because minifigs usually are not very proportional when you compare them to real people. And also we have to be aware that not all Star Wars ships are designed in minifigure scale. A lot of them are designed in something called play scale, which just scales things down to make them more playable. A good example of a play scale ship would be either the Ghost or the non-UCS Millennium Falcon from the Force Awakens line. While good examples of minifigure scale ships would be the UCS Slave 1, the UCS Lambda Shuttle and the UCS Millennium Falcon. I mean the old one and also hopefully the one that is coming this year, most likely. Anyhow, even though we have a number of different official Star Wars sets as well as mocks here in the studio, we even have a Tantive 4 minifigure scale model in the back burner, but this one's gonna take definitely a while. But before that happens, we are enjoying this massive 88 in our office, and having this big guy here made us want to explore how big would our favorite Star Wars ships be in the most sought after scale. And for many of them, the result is pretty staggering.
is it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked the concept of those minifigure scale ships. I really enjoyed finding out how big those guys would be and some of them will grow really big. Uh, if you want to check out different ships that we have not included, I'm gonna leave a link to the converter um, to the minifig scale form in the description below so you can check that out. And again, thank you again so much for watching. My name is Mike and I'll see you again on Brick Vault. Thank you.